see there are a couple of new things in your A levels additional to your IGCSE. Okay. Somehow or the other, you have done those things in your IGCSE, but in a very different context. Okay. So we're going to have a very focused concept on those things this time. <clears throat> okay. First of all, the standard form of a quadratic equation. This is basically quadratic. First of all, standard form. So, standard form of a quadratic equation is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. This is the standard form of a quadratic equation. Also, ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. This is also the standard form. Now, can you tell me the difference between the two? The apparent difference which you see and the meaning of that difference which you see. Excellent. Over here, the value of y is zero. Means that's the where where, where the value of y is zero, where it crosses the x axis, basically on the x axis. Right. Now, the meaning of the difference between the well, what is the meaning of the difference between the two? When it comes to the graph of the quadratics, we will have the graph of this equation. This does not give you the graph. When you draw like for, on a graphing plotter software, uh, I would recommend all of you to get your hands on. Yes, that's a very amazing software. The good thing about the Desmos is if you put this equation as it is like A, B and C, it gives you sliders. You can adjust the values of A, B and C. OK. So when you in, in a graphing plotter software, if you put this equation, it will give you two vertical lines. So basically it is giving you the values of X. OK, or uh, this one gives you a proper quadratic curve. OK, so whenever you draw the graph of a quadratic. It is either going to be concave up. Which is basically known as upper parabola. The proper term is parabola it is concaved up so we call it as upper parabola or it is going to be concaved down concave down means lower parabolas mouth opening is going to be downwards it is going to be upper parabola when the value of a is going to be positive a in this case is basically the coefficient of x squared and whenever the value of a is negative means the coefficient of x squared is negative or the x squared term is negative then we are going to have a lower parabola means it will be concave down many students they draw a parabola like this is it okay or not okay Yes, it is never vertical. Yes, uh, sorry, Hafsa. The values of x don't get constant at any point. They keep increasing. That's why. Yes, it it yeah. So it, going vertically up means the value of x has become still, but the value of y is increasing. That does not happen in quadratics. Okay, so value of x is increasing as well as the value of y is increasing. So it is going to be uh, steeper in a steeper manner. Same goes like this. OK, when you draw a line. And it is being extended to infinite on both sides. So you put the arrow heads. That means this line is being extended on that side to the infinity and on this side to the infinity. But for the quadratic. In it is actually being extended to infinity from these two ends, but we don't put arrow heads there. It is understood. OK, so when, I, when you have. Um, 
upper parabola. Okay, you can remember this as a happy face and a sad face. When A is positive, things are positive. It's still going to be a happy face. When A is negative, okay, it was supposed to be negative. When things are negative, then it is a sad face. Okay, right. You can remember it this way. But it is always, I always encourage my students to remember the proper terminology. This is upper parabola. Upper parabola. And this one is lower parabola. <laughs> okay. Upper parabola and lower parabola. This point here in the upper parabola and this point here in the lower parabola is known as vertex. This is known as vertex of the curve. Vertex. It has very different names, but the general name is vertex. Then talking about different uh, concepts and talking about in what context you are talking about this particular point, then you may change the name. This is also known as the turning point of the graph. And if it is a lower parabola, this is known as the minimum point of the graph or the minimum value or the minima. And this is known as the maximum point as well. So the general name which fits in on all the concepts is basically the vertex. OK. All right. I'm going to give you the equation now. Simply by using. The concepts of. Uh, IGCSE, I would like you to solve it, OK? But, but before I give you the equation, let's talk about solving a quadratic equation. In how many ways can you solve it? We can solve a quadratic equation by factorization method. We have done this in our IGCC on O levels. We can solve a quadratic equation by using a quadratic formula. We can solve a quadratic equation by using by transforming the equation into a completing square format. Okay. Okay. Our main focus today will be towards the solution. Now, whenever you solve a quadratic equation, for example, if I have an equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero, when examiner asks you solve this, okay, examiner will never ask you to solve when it is equals to y. Okay. If you solve it, then it will always be equals to zero. So when you to solve it, basically you will be having the values of x. In your IGCSE, you may have noticed whenever you solve a quadratic equation, you always get two values of x. Now we have different names for this. These values of x, they are known as roots of quadratics. They are known as roots of quadratics, which is same as solution okay which is same as the solution of quadratic equation which is same as the term you mentioned the x intercepts these are the points where the graph is going to cut the x axis okay x intercepts now i'm going to give you the equation now so this could this can be recall of your concepts from your igcc now I want you to solve this equation by using a factorization method. Solve by factorization. Question is x squared minus 6x plus 8 equals to 0.
x equals 2 and x equals 4. OK, I'm going to factorize the same one for you guys. Just in case if anyone has any doubts about factorization, you can say factorize. Get there. You always multiply the first and the last term. This is how I do. There are different methods. OK, this is how I do. So I always multiply the first and the last term together. So this is giving me plus 8x squared. Now I need to think of the two numbers whose sum is going to be negative 6x. And whose product, sorry, whose difference, uh, so yeah, whose sum is going to be positive 6, uh, negative 6x and whose product is going to be 8x squared. So x squared minus 4x and minus 2x, minus 4x and minus 2x is going to give you plus 8x squared and the sum of the two numbers is going to give me negative 6x plus 8 equals to 0. x common x minus 4 minus 2 common x minus 4. x minus 4 common x minus 2 and here I'm going to apply 0 product property. And then after applying 0 product property, I'll conclude that either x minus 4 equals to 0 or x minus 2 equals to 0. Isko and any lick number better, okay? This is or. See? And from here, I will have solution of my equation. So basically, the solution is for this equation is 4 and 2. So basically, instead of using the term solution, now having said that you are in AS, if I ask you, what are the roots of this quadratic equation? So it's 4 and 2. Same thing as the solution. OK, now I would like you to look at the graph of this one. OK, it is cutting the X axis at which two points? Two and four. So this is let's suppose two. And this is. Four. So this is how the graph is going to be. And it is going to be concaved up, isn't it? Okay, this is how. So this is what is the meaning of the roots. Yeah, the clear. Okay, have a good look at this question because now I'm going to give you a question on which I would like you to apply the reverse engineering, and I'm sure you will be able to do it. Have a good look at it. Take a moment. If you have doubts, you can ask me now. Okay, now moving. Next. OK, here are the roots. Of an equation. As X equals. Two. And X equals. Minus three. write down its equation. So I have given you the roots. Apply the reverse engineering. Previous question exactly in the same way. Take it back to the question.
Uh, sir, is it x squared plus x minus 6? x squared plus x minus 6 equals 0. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Okay, let's just find that out. Okay, if this is one of the roots, so basically from here I can deduce that x minus 2 is equals to 0, isn't it? And this means x plus 3 is equals to 0. So I'll multiply both of these. X minus 2 times X plus 3 will be equal to 0. Now expand it. X squared plus X minus 6 equals to 0. Tick OK. Any doubts? OK. Iska matlab kya tha? And roots ka graphical meaning kya tha? What was the meaning, graphical meaning of these roots? What were these two actual points? Where were they actually located? On the x axis. If I ask you to draw a sketch of it, how is it going to be? Is it going to be upper parabola? Yes, and it is going to intersect the x axis at x equals minus 3 and x equals 2. From here, you can obtain its graph. The rough sketch only, okay? Samaj me aage? Chala. So let's take you to the next thing. Write down the equation for this graph. Now, instead of roots written down, I have given you the graph and I want you to write down the equation of this graph. Rida, would you like to share this time? Uh, sir, I'm doing it. OK, OK. Yes. <laughs> Is it x square minus 3x minus 4 equals 0? OK, so. X squared minus 3x minus 4 
equals to zero. Okay, let's find that out. Oh wait, I think it's not correct. I think I made an error. Okay, calculation. Okay, okay, that's fine. Uh, have you corrected it or should I do it? I accidentally took positive four instead of negative four. Okay, okay, okay. That's fine. Here you go. Yeah. So basically, one of the root is negative four and another root is positive one. So x plus four equals to zero from here. And x minus one equals to zero from here. Now I'm going to find the product of the two. So x plus four into x minus one equals to zero and x squared plus 3x minus 4 equals to 0. Take okay, Bache. Clear? Okay, so this time minus two. Five. Right. So basically this is at five. And this is at minus two. Pico gay chalet is key equation banai. A root is ka minus two pe hai. Dusra root is ka five pe hai. Of uh, minus x square minus three x minus ten, I think. Okay, that's fine. My minus three x, sorry, minus x squared minus three x minus ten equals to zero. Make sure you tell me equals to zero as well. Okay, so let's just find that out. So one of the root is negative two, and the other root is positive 5 x plus 2 from here and x minus 5 from here so we find the product of the two that gives you x squared minus 3x minus 10 equals to 0 now it is a lower parabola it is a Lower parabola. Now, lower parabola has a negative coefficient of x square. What do we have? Is it positive or negative? Positive. So in order to make this negative, I will be multiplying this entire equation with minus one. So if I do that, that will result in minus x squared plus 3x plus 10 and zero times anything is zero. So this is the equation for this graph. Okay, so if you change, 
just okay i think this is what you did x squared minus 3x minus 10 equals to 0 you got it up till here then you simply change the sign of x squared to negative it was a very good thing that you realized that the coefficient of x squared needs to be negative but the process was wrong you cannot introduce just a negative sign with an x squared you need to maintain the balance in order to maintain the balance we multiplied the negative one with the entire equation okay got it yes. okay. Thoda sa difficulty level bada de. <clears throat> so one of the root is negative four and another root is positive one. And it is an upper parabola with one of the roots at minus four and positive one, and the y intercept at negative eight. So this time I have given you the y intercept as well. Try it. Fir mai bataunga. Pehle aap ko try kar le. Do we have to find the equation? Yes, yes, yes. We need to do exactly same thing. The only difference is that I have given you the y intercept. Any luck? Like doing math wrong is not a bad thing. It's actually a good thing. You're learning something. <laughs> so don't be scared to share wrong answers. It's fine. We all are learning here. Even me, I am also learning. Yes, anyone? Okay, x squared. Chabash. Minus 3x plus 4 equals to 0. Okay, fine. This is one of the answers. Up share karenge. Same difference. Acha, aapne same cheez likhe equals to minus 8. Yani wo dara ke kya ho jayega? Plus 8, 8 plus 4, 12. So x squared minus 3x plus 12. Okay, yes, I've signed to that. Oh, sorry, I messed it up, but I didn't do the plus 12. Like I didn't add it in it. So you have th this one? Yeah. The yeah. top one. Okay, fine. Rida?
Where is the top one? Top one. Okay, now let's just find out. All right, so we will start off with the roots. X equals negative four, and the other root is X equals one. Before I move to the procedure, AX squared plus BX. Plus C equals to zero. What is Y intercept in this equation? C, this one. Okay. This one is Y intercept. Okay, so X plus four equals to zero. X minus one equals to zero. Find the product of the two. This is going to be x squared plus 3x, no, minus, minus 4, minus 4 equals to 0. This is the equation I have got. According to the graph, according to the graph, what should I have here? Minus? Eight. How minus eight? Yeah. Multiply the entire equation with two. So you multiply the entire equation with two, and that leaves us with two x squared plus six x minus eight equals to zero. A puri equation which I'm going to multiply here. Uski roots pe koi fark nahi padega. They will stay as minus one and four. But jab aap kuchis add karenge, jase aapne kiya, it was a kind of correct approach. Usse aapne, khair, aapko basically yahan pe, aha, malab minus, malab aap kuch karte ke yahan pe, <coughs> four, equal to 4 karte na aap to nahi equal to 4 nahi aap karte equal to my positive 12 karte to idhar aake minus 12 hota to 4 minus 12 minus 8 aata usse theek to ho jata ye wala part y intercept to minus 8 hota fir roots change honi chahiye humne roots pe change fark nahi leke aana hum we want the roots as 1 and minus 4 if you go back to the previous question it was same equation. The only difference was root stays there. Sort of the graph was instead of concaved up, it was concaved down. Because the whole equation was multiplied by minus one. Se. So we do the exactly same thing over here. We have the whole equation was multiplied by two. Se. So if you go back now, you will understand it better. So if you get this question in exam in order to solve it, and let's say exam will ask you to factorize it. Solving it like this from a calculator directly and dividing this that that's one way of doing it. If I put this the value of a as two, b as six, and c as negative eight in my calculator, and I'll get my answer as one and minus four. But if I say, for example, if I want to do it with factorization and I'm not really good with numbers, so what I will do is I will divide the entire equation with two first. So that will give me a simplified version of this equation. Two x squared plus 3x minus 4 equals to 0. This is roots of the way. Roots are not going to be So, we have to y-intercept to adjust the whole equation. Ko kisse multiply kiya. This is an important skill. You can make this equation bana bhi sakte hai ab. आप इक्वेशन को रीड कर सकते हैं ग्राफ को रीड कर सकते हैं आगे इंशाल्लाह आपको इससे प्रॉब्लम नहीं आएगा सो एनी क्वेश्चंस अप टिल हियर लेट मी नीड दिस अप इन द मीनवाइल यू कैन हैव आस्क मी क्वेश्चंस सर व्हाट विल वी डू इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास व्हाट आर वी गोइंग टू डू इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास ओके द नेक्स्ट क्लास इज गोइंग टू बी ऑन मंडे इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास वी विल बी डूइंग क्वाड्रेटिक इनइक्वालिटीज ठीक है 
will be doing quadratic inequalities. That's it for today. Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz. Thank you, sir.